It's not as if I'm that vain like that too. It's just that when you are sweating, when you're about to shoot, and you're sweating, you know, you gotta just dab to keep those sweatry glands intact. Yeah. Hi everyone. I'm good to go, right? Just give me five seconds. You know, I have to I have to ooze. You know, I have to ooze fine smell outside. So that some people are watching my video. People are like, ah, people will not know that it's spell. I'm cooking spell. <laughs> I'm cooking spell for you. People will be ah, watching the video. Ah, ah. You don't be falling in love. You don't understand where the love is coming from. <laughs> hey, everybody. My name is Tammy Talkbeaje. Welcome to my channel. It's good to have you here. And if this is your first time, welcome. Please do not forget to click the subscribe button. Yes, I need you to do that. Let's build this family. Let's build this army. You gotta be a part of this. This is a movement. We're not here to play. Anywho. And this was not the clothes I planned to wear. I did something before now. I actually did something. I shot a video and I wore this. I'm like, okay, I will change. But when tick is clocking, when clock is ticking, and you know, I'm getting to lose daylight. So I said, let me just, you know, hurry up with this. I don't know who asked me question now. But anyways, you guys are welcome. And today, hmm, I'll be talking about a really sensitive issue. And I'm talking about the, the... I'll be talking about marriage, the institution of marriage, but just a sector because marriage is a very broad topic. Like you cannot exhaust marriage in a day. I promise you. And I would like to implore every one of you to fasten your seatbelt because you guys will be learning a lot. So now this, my video is directed to married women. I'm not married though, but please listen to me. Yeah, I'm not married, but who is that dog back now? I like that. I like that. Anyway, Jerry, so I'm not married, like I said, and um, this message is directed to the married women and the married men as well. And I will be talking about um, acceptance in marriage, right? It's just all about acceptance. And one thing I know for if I'm going to go straight to the point because, you know, I don't want any long story in Jesus' name, I pray, amen, because once I start to talk, I just lose track of time. So, yeah, um, I'm talking about acceptance in marriage and... One thing I know for a fact is men love acceptance, especially from their wives. If wives, you know, do not make their husbands feel accepted, this chases them away from the home. And that is why you find out that most men like to hang out with their guys. Because most times with their guys, there's absolutely no judgment. It's like a no judgment zone. And for those that drink, they just rather hang out in a bar you know drink up nobody's judging you in a bar <laughs> nobody's gonna judge you you people are all drunk together so nobody's going to point fingers but we find out that in 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 homes wives get to get to judge their husbands oh this is who you are look at you look at your head your mates are this your mates are that ah, ah, why are you yawning like that why are you snoring on the bed my sister you are it is your cross to carry it is not your duty to pick point the flaws of your husband consistently or yeah, to pick point his flaws and hoping that will correct him. If your husband is the type of person that, you know, likes to drop clothes, there are so many men, even women that do that. The truth is for a man that's, let's say an average of 30 years old, an average, you know, people could be older than that or even younger. We find husbands that are younger than that, but let's just use that age. You find out that at 30 years old, this man as this character this flaw has been a part of this man for 30 years and you think in two years okay let's just assume people courted for a year you people now get married and maybe you're in the second year of marriage so you think what this man has been used to for 30 years of his life is going to change in three years and you think it's by yelling at him that would change that character or that character trait my sister you have lied you are failed. It is a big lie to not happen that way. I think the duty of wives is to love their husbands, not try to train them. And ladies, learn. It is a skill to learn how to send your husbands on errands out of love. 
There's a way you send him on an errand that he will listen to you. If it's the type that likes to fling clothes everywhere, you could say, oh, baby, can you help me with your top? I need to wash them, even though you're not going to wash it till the next three days. Do that. If you're the type that you know your husband doesn't like to be in the kitchen and your work demands that, you know, you go out, you're, st you're basically stressed out most of the time, all you just need to do is say, be in the kitchen and be like, oh, darling, please, can you help me with, like, Oh, darling, please, could you just help me do this? And yeah, because my hands are busy right now, so I would appreciate it if you can help me. You know, all these things, you would, th 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 there's a way you send them on an errand without them even realizing that they are going on an errand. And no, they love you. They love you, so they would do anything for you. But for those men that have egos, there's a way you can rob their ego. You don't just order them around and you think you don't you don't you don't attack them and you think they they, they, they would not become defensive everybody has that defense me mechanism in them especially for guys they have that ego thing going on with them so they would they would want to bounce back on you because they don't understand why you're coming hard on them so ladies it is your duty to love your husbands if there's a character flaw that you see in them that you want them to change i think it's your duty to correct them in love and teach them like i said if there's something you know you need help in and they're not used to teach them how to do it you know in bits in bits before you know it becomes a part of them and one thing i realized is Especially mothers that have kids and this applies to the guys as well If there's a character trait in your wife that you think you do not like you don't yell at her You don't get the best of her because women are also defensive You don't get the best of your baby girl if you think it's by yelling on her and making her feel less of a woman That will get her to me. I for one, I'm a stubborn person If you keep yelling at me to do something that's when I will prove to you that I will not do it But thank God for grace that we're getting better at these things But if you pacify me, it's not every time that I will need pacifying but guess what this is me this is who i have been so it will take time for me to change so you need to be patient with me likewise i also need to be patient with you right that is one so for mothers you need to like i said love your husbands and train your children rather than train your husbands and love your kids the reason why your husband is a mess is probably because his mother did not train him anyway notes uh, no, no, there's no 100%. You cannot, you cannot get 100% training from any parents, really, because parents do have their flaws. From a parent's flaw, you see it gain expression in the life of the child because there's a transference. If you've lived with your parents for how many years of your life, that flaw will gain expression in your life. So your husband is a mess, probably because his mother did not train him in that regard. So you cannot... You cannot yell at your husband for dropping clothes on the floor and then your child does that and you go, ah, Omodeni, ah, it's not Omode, now your child will grow up to be the kind of person that, that, that his wife probably complain about. That child will grow up to be the kind of person that society will probably frown at depending on your own flaw. So I'm not using that cloth as a case study now. I don't know if you understand. If your child is that kind of person that, you know, that likes to eat. I, I know of a family that she doesn't give a son any food aside from his. So if she's eating and the child comes around her, she doesn't give it to him. She goes, yours is in the fridge. Go get it. Because sometimes you will spoil your kids to the extent that they will disgrace you in public. That some children, you know how some children, children can be. If you don't give them food to eat, they will cry, embarrass you, roll on the ground, mucus everywhere. It's embarrassing. But from childhood, your child comes at nine months and you give, no, don't give, don't give it to him. Don't make it a habit so he feels he's entitled. So if you do not give him something next time, it becomes an issue. I don't know if you understand, that's because it feels it is my right, since I always get the children and not children, in as much as they are children. But they are smart, they read the environment, they know what is going on. So if you, if you want your child to, to, to embody a particular trait, to have a particular character trait, you train them from childhood. The Bible says, train your child the way he should go or she, and when they grow, they will not depart from it. Not train your husbands. Your husbands have already been trained. So you will take the grace of God to stop them from doing something you would not want them to do. The grace of God and with patience. So love your husband. Respect them. Likewise, husbands. Husbands, love your wife as Christ loved the church. How did Christ love the church? That one is another story for another day. But you guys get what I'm trying to say in a nutshell. So train your children so they don't grow up to be burdens for their future wives. 
and then love your husband if you know there's a character trait in them that you do not like love them and correct them in love correct them in love and for your children the Bible says, spare the rod and spoil the child. There are different ways to correct the child, but the rod is also a part of it. I'm not an advocate of Koma Lomo, no Mokiri. No, you can always, you know, flog a child. But then again, it's part of the ways you correct a child. Sometimes you withdraw some benefits from children. If they do something wrong, sometimes children are tired of hearing you threaten them. I will beat you, Junior. You did, 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 did. Did, 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 You will still not beat them. They already know that pattern and they know, ah, mommy will not beat me even if the child is three years old. They already know it's a pattern for you. So when they do something wrong, make sure you punish them for it. If it's their toy, withdraw their toy from them. If their bedtime is nine o'clock, make sure they go to bed by eight. Deny them from watching that cartoon if they do something wrong. That is how you train children. Spank them if you need to spank them. So I mean it's it's a million and one ways you know you know to work this thing out. And trust me, there is no one way traffic to this thing, but with principles in the Bible, this it's really clear and God will really help us if we decide to wisen up. But no child is a child. Don't say Oh, is she still a child? Uh, no, no, no. You will realize that that child will grow up with that character and you will blame yourself. You yourself, you will know. You start wondering, why is this child giving me so much stress? It's because you didn't do the needful when, when the time was right. And children form their habits from the cradle, foundational stage. Children learn from foundational stage. That's when their brains form. So that habit you do not want them to have, don't make them have it. And... The Lord will help you as you listen to me. So yeah, that's everything I literally have to say on today's episode. I hope that you loved it. And do not forget, subscribe. And let me also, you know, know what you feel. Share your comments in the comment section below. Let me know the other ways you think, you know, wives and husbands can feel accepted in their homes and ways that, you know, parents can also train their children. Thanks for watching. Bye.